I'm going to show you how to make a basic name and password screen in App Lab. Let's go. All right, this is our entry screen, basic name and password screen in App Lab. All right, let's have a look. So step one, set up all the UI elements. UI stands for user interface. So if you have this presentation, just click on the button and it will launch a new App Lab project. How handy. This shows you what you need to do. You need to set up a text input box for this one. We're going to call this name text and the placeholder, which is the text that's going to appear inside it, is going to say your name. And then the second one, another text input, is going to be called password text. And this one, the placeholder, is going to be called enter password. Then we're going to add a button here, and we'll call the ID of this button clear button, and the text we will write clear so that it appears there. We can match the height and width if you want to. Then we have an enter button. So this is going to be called enter button, and the text will be enter. Then in here, we're going to have a label, and we're going to call the ID incorrect label, and the text is going to be empty, and the text color is going to be red. And we need to make a new screen, call it screen two. We're going to have another label, and this is going to be called hello label, the ID, and the text is just going to be hello. And the next one, another label, hello name label. And the text inside it is going to be name and width is 180. We need to make this a little bit bigger than maybe the other one because we need enough room for long names. Then we're going to have another button and this will be called back button, the ID, and the text will just say back. Right, next step, write the code, let's go. Right, so here is all the code. Lucky for you, you just copy it all out. But I want you to understand what's going on here. So let's look at the code in blocks first. Okay, so this section here, we've got on event, enter button, click, which is not how you say it. You actually say on the click event of the enter button. So when the enter button is clicked, we're going to do the following things. We've got if get text, um, password text and we want the password to be 1234 so if the password is 1234 we're going to set the screen to screen 2 and then whatever the name that is written in the name text box is going to appear the hello name label will say whatever was written in the text box that was called the name text and that's where the, the user writes their name in okay um, otherwise, if it's not the correct password, if it's anything but 1234, we're going to set the text of the incorrect label label to this piece of writing here, which is incorrect password, try again. That's that red label that didn't have any writing in it. And then we want to make a clear button. So the click event of the clear button, we're going to set text incorrect label to empty, nothing, two quotation marks. And we're going to set the password text to empty quotation marks because we want to be able to clear anything that's written in there. So that's the point of that. Then the back button, which is on the screen two. And on the click event of the back button, we're going to go to screen one. We're going to set the text of incorrect label back to nothing. We're going to set the text of the password text field to nothing. And that is it. That's all there is to it. So I don't know if I explained it very well, but hopefully I did. But play around with it and see if you can figure out what's going on. Now what's really important is that you actually name your objects carefully because when you refer to the names of these objects in the code, they need to be spelled exactly the same. So correct um, casing, so uppercase, lowercase, it needs to be correct for the program to work. Any error, it's gonna come up with problems. Don't panic if it suddenly doesn't work and you think, oh no, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It does work. You just got to check your spelling. Even it could be something as small as an extra space somewhere. 
something small like that. So welcome to programming, this is what programming is like. That part of programming is called debugging, that's where you check for those little errors that you might have made as you were typing everything in. Alright, good luck with this, thanks for watching, bye.